Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Here today with John Collins, we're at the uh, Fly Fishing and Wing Shooting Show in the Poconos, and we're going to take a little bit of time out of the show to shoot a video. Um, John, tell us what fly we're going to shoot today. We are tying up the LB, the, the electric LBS soft tackle. It's an imitation of the little black stone flies. Um, Perfect fly for this time of year because it's about to come off any time if it hasn't already in your area. I saw some guys posting pictures of them already, but uh, still a little early in our area for it. But great looking wet fly pattern here. And uh, did you come up with this pattern? Yes, I did. Cool. And I came up with this pattern watching the behavior of these stoneflies. They drift endlessly before they crawl out. They're not just the ones that crawl across the bottom. They get caught in the current because of their size. And soft tackles are deadly because of the motion of the nymphs right. and their larp in their drift. Yeah, I love fishing soft tackles. So this is a great looking pattern. Let's get into tying it here. Okay, the hook we're using today is a Daiichi 1260. Actually, it's a beadhead nymph hook. Slight bend to it. And what I do, I leave the tag end on. I'm going to bring my thread all the way back right above the hook bar. I stop there and return about three quarters of the way toward the hook eye. I stop right there. Next I'll take some moose body hair, two pieces, and this is for the tails. These stoneflies have very skinny tails and they're very pronounced as far as being long. It's about as long as the body, and that's about what you want to measure. So your thread base that you have down, make that about that length on the tails. Place that down, and start your thread from this point and bring it back with the two moose main hairs, moose body hairs, I'm sorry, uh, sitting on top of the hook shank. And then I'll stop right here, hold my thread, and that tag end that I left, I use that to help split the tails. So this is a little trick you can do. Split microfib, it's actually two. Get that fastened, and then I'll bring my thread back. Just need a couple wraps just to hold it in there. Like that, I snap off the butt ends. And I cut off the tag end now. Next, I'll make the abdomen, which consists of hairline microtubing. Hairline microtubing and extra small ultra wire in black. I want to start by getting some thread down on a bare wire sticking out from the end of this tubing wire combination. And then as I gradually go back, I get my thread over top of the tubing. And then I can stretch this. If you don't do this, it will pull out. Bring this all the way back to the base of the tails. And then I bring it forward again to that same stopping point, making sure that I cover up every little shiny area. Now I'll put a whip finish there to keep my work in place. Now I'll proceed to wrap this forward in consecutive wraps right up against itself. So we'll give this excellent segmentation plus a translucency from the clear tubing. Sure. These little nymphs are very skinny and round. They're not like your typical stonefly nymph, which is broad and flat. So this technique is perfect for getting that shape of their body. When I get to that point where my thread ends, and I'll tie that off. I look amazing 
And it, the translucency, that's a key too to it. That's a often misoverlooked feature to the flies that you try to strive to get in your flies. Get rid of that little fuzzy there. Okay, now I have these little circuit cutters. Her nippers, so you want to save your scissors, cut that off with them. Yes, you were 12. You were 12. So you don't have to worry about messing your scissors up. And then I cover that up. Make sure I bring my thread back up against that abdomen. Next, I'll take peacock curl dyed black. Even though it's dyed black, it has nice translucent luminosity to it, like all peacock curl does. But it's dark to match the body of the fly. I'll proceed to stop my thread about halfway between my stopping point and the hook eye, and then I will do consecutive wraps. You don't have to do it going away. You can go back over it. This is basically just your little um, that's great. Ball of hurl for your uh, thorax. And I'll stop my about six or seven wraps. Get a few wraps on that, you can just snap that off. Next, I'm going to put my hack on. Now, this is a head feather from a male ring neck pheasant. These are feathers, a lot of people throw them away. Don't throw them away, they have a lot of uses. They're great, they're a great starling substitute. A lot bigger than starling, so they're easier to work with. And there's all different sizes too. Yeah. Because from the top of the head, they get bigger as they right. go down. Now what I do, I just sweep this back, use these old English style pliers, hackle pliers to hold that. And so I can bury this, I just make a little triangle for my anchor point. Place that on the hook, and by cutting it like that, it doesn't stick past the eye of the hook. I get that fastened, and now I take these hackle pliers from the back side. These hackle pliers are great, everybody should have them. They only cost about three or four dollars. Yep. They're the old style, and they're perfect for wrapping soft tackles, among other things. Now I'll fold that feather back. And these feathers are small, so you're only going to get three, maybe four wraps at the most. That's one, two, and three. Tie that off. Now these are tough three. Uh, the quill on this is tough, so don't try to yank it off like I did with the hurl. Cut it. Yeah. Snip that off right there. I take the little dental brushes and brush it back and make it look pretty. Give a couple more wraps going back toward the hackle itself. And then do a three or four turn whip finish. <laughs> Snip that off without cutting any. The next I use UV from now on. I don't use head cement anymore. Tiny bit on there of low viscosity UV, which will soak right into the thread. I'll hit it with the light. This is a nice glossy head. And there you have it. The, L the electric LBS soft tackle. All right, thanks for sharing that with us, John. That's a great looking pattern. I'm going to have some in my box for sure, and uh, can't wait to get it on the stream. Okay, well, thanks for having me. All right. And good luck. I would put this pattern in your, due to the behavior of these stone blinds, the soft tackles, just so, uh, like no brainer. Yep. I'm going to bring you All right, so the things you need to tie it, you can find most of them in the shop at wholesingersflyshop.com. And uh, don't forget to like, like us on Facebook and YouTube. 
And uh, where can they find you on Instagram and stuff? You can find me at Electric Tire. So look them up on Electric Tire on Instagram. And thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger. Thank you.